All right, what's up, vinyl community? Just got back from the record store a little while ago, so I thought I'd share with you what I picked up. Nothing to go too crazy. I have a stack on hold there, like, the record store owner's like, yeah, you add this to your huge old stack we're holding for you. But uh, shout out to Piranha. They are one of the best record stores, and the owner is super cool, man. He is very knowledgeable about every genre of music and what records he knows. After he gets to know you for a little bit, he knows what you like. He knows what to point out, and uh, way, way solid. One of my favorite places to go. So anyways, that being said, let's show you what I picked up. All right, my dog, she's trying to get her blanket from a tight spot. Liza, Liza, get her away. Hey, get away. She wants to be up in my video. All right. So the main reason I went there which I think most a lot of people already know about is coming out. What's up, Charles Lloyd? And the Marvels. Um, it's a tone poet series. Every one of these is good. You won't be disappointed with any one of them as far as how good they because they pick out all the amazing records that they re put out. But they they made the records they're on 180 gram vinyl, but the edges of the, they're just super high quality. It's almost like you're getting a mobile fidelity record, like one of the original master recordings. As far as the quality, the records, the edges of the records are so smooth. And uh, I know that's not a big deal to some people, but it is to me because every old record back in the day was always smooth on the edges. You freaking rub the edges of that thing on your cheeks. Like, super smooth. Not that you would do that. Anyways, I picked this up, so let's uh, open it and check it out. This one's a little pricey because it's a double LP, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, maybe it's not. Yes, it is. So, uh, so this one's like a little 10 bucks above their normal price. Still worth it. Way worth it. And uh, this album cover, I like the picture. And uh, Charles Lloyd on uh, the tenor saxophone alto flute. Bill Frizzell on guitar. I mean, just... Hey! My dog is... She likes to ruin everything that's precious to me. So... Get back! Get back! She's trying to step on my new record. Let me just set those right there. Anyways, let's open this up. But yes, just uh, Charles... Uh, Bill Frizzell on guitar. If you're just a fan of Bill Frizzell and you don't know the rest, get back! Um, it's worth it just for it, but I guarantee you will like hearing all the other musicians. Okay. Stay some food right now. Not that you guys need to know that. It's from my other YouTube channel, my food channel. Man, there was a bunch. Yeah, I love all the videos that people on the vinyl community are putting out. Um, I'm going to do a video talking about a lot of the video, some of the, my favorite uh, videos that I watch in the vinyl community. Pretty much that's all of them. I haven't really seen one I didn't really dislike. Um, some people have uh, neat product. They have like a setup or, you know, I mean, some people, everyone has a different setup and it's really neat to watch and see. So, uh, oh, I'm sure everyone has a different way of how they open their records. I don't want to mess up the corners. Yeah. Nice. All right. And what I do, I like to save the hype sticker. I What's cool is I thought I was a weirdo for saving this. I didn't even know they had a name. I would just save. The, I called it a promotional sticker, which I'm sure I think it can be called that. Hey, get back. Get back. My dog's trying to get a blanket. Go. Move. She's. If my attention's not on her, she's going to be causing some ruckus. Alright. Anyways, I would save the promotional sticker, which I thought I was a weirdo for doing. Um, and then I seen, gosh, I'm going to forget the guy's name, 33RPM, his channel. And he was very big about the hype sticker and how he saved him. And I was like, alright, I'm, I'm not strange. And then the, and he was the first person I heard uses the term hype sticker, I swear. And so, uh, Yes, so thank you, 33RPM. Go check out his channel. Go, uh, go subscribe to it. Really good. He's like really, uh, 
He's got a good. He, it seems like he's got a cool personality. Um, he he might pick out records that I are talking about records I probably wouldn't listen to, and that goes for everybody in the vinyl community. But I'll still watch his videos, even if it's a bit, just because uh, his uh, there he's uh, he his videos are good. They're worth watching. Go check it out. Alrighty, I'm drawing a name, uh, drawing a blank on his name right now for some reason, and I don't know why. But anyways, so let's uh, open this up and just give a look. See Lou. Nice. Let's see what the inside looks like. Spoiler alert. This one seems a little easier to open up than some of the other Tome Poets that are a gatefold. But am I? Oh, wow. Okay. So it doesn't have the blue note. I was just going to say how I love seeing the blue note label on the center of the record and uh wow it doesn't have it. it has the album cover on the center i kind of like that because it's not normal for blue note to do that but then again i'm kind of in tradition so i kind of like seeing that but no it's awesome all righty so i've all i've actually never heard this whole album I um I went and YouTube one song and I was like, alright, you know I'm gonna love this whole record. But um Oh, it's a little much down here. Oh man, that kinda bums me out. Um Damn and I tried to look at the three really closely to make sure. Well it is what it is. So that's the name of the game. They had three copies, which I they normally only have two. And uh, it's not my record store's fault. It's, uh, I'm sure they got it this way. Um, so anyways. I'm like such a nerd. That we'll see. My record store guy's pretty cool. He would actually give me store credit on this and I could maybe go exchange it. But I, I'm not going to be a hardcore of a nerd. He gives a character. So, uh. Not too much. Sorry if I'm just checking this album out. It just tells you the musicians. Doesn't give you too much trying to see um, who produced it. Dorothy Dar and Charles Lloyd. Seems like, uh, but the mastering was done by Kevin Gray. So that's always just curious, making sure, yeah. Which all these tone poets are by Kevin Gray, I'm pretty sure, so. Yeah, anyways. Gosh, a little bummed about that, being messed up. You pay so much for these. But anyways. All right, so what else is in the bag? Am I going on and on on this one record? All right. Low budget vinyl channel. I'm working on my song. All right. Some Coleman 45s. Now, I love the Coleman record label. Every band on their label is amazing, but I don't have any 45s. I didn't even know that my spot had some in stock. So they had got some of these other 45s in, so I was over there sneaking around, scoping stuff out. And um, I seen the Coleman's. I didn't even find what I was looking for, what they had showed. So I was like, I seen these, I got sidetracked, I didn't even care. So I picked two out that I had already known of the bands I like. I went and listened to them. I already knew they'd be good, but they have a record player that I go play, and I played just a half of each one. I was like, oh, gosh, damn. I got to get these, and they were a good deal. So, and I got some slips for them to keep them protected. So let's put these in here first, and we'll show them to you. I'm a big fan of 45s. I love them, because I just... They sound different. And I thought I was crazy for thinking that, and then I heard other people like like 45s, like, no, they do sound different. The grooves are wider, and they have to be spun faster. But uh, check it out. So this is Coal Mine. This is Kelly Finnegan. I have his record, Super Worth. It's You can get the, his record for like $18, brand new. And it comes on this neat blue swirl, see-through vinyl. So. It's on clear. And I'll... 
they're not all different colors like this. They usually they have black ones and everything. But and I'm not a, usually a big fan of getting vinyl that's like different colors. But it's been kind of growing on me just a little bit. And so I was like, you know, I don't have too many 45s of different colors. So I kind of liked that these are these ones is clear. And then this one, so it's Kelly Finnegan. It's the artist, and the name of the song is "Since I Don't Have You Anymore." Great title. And then so another coal mine. And this is I Could Be Shakedown. And the song is Horses. Oh, there's two songs. Yeah, Unqualified is the song on the other side. <laughs> Sorry. And this one is... Same song on both sides. Okay. Wait, is there a part? Let me check. There might be a part one and part two. No. All right. Still stoked. I did not know uh, it was the same song on both sides, but I'm not. That's either. That's fine. And again, I don't edit these um, these videos. These are just done on the spot, low budget vinyl channel. Hence the name. Anyway, so that's what I got. I'm gonna spin these right now because I haven't got to play. I've never played any Coleman 45s. You know I have. Uh, quite a few of the records. And then, uh, my record store does this thing for every um, $20 you spend, you get a, a dollar in these wood dollars. I call them piranha bucks. And it's actually cool. If you say them, somebody brought in like a damn shoebox full of these things. Um, it looked like there was at least 50 or more. 50 times 100 piranha bucks. Anyway, somebody was buying some vinyl which is awesome anyways so i like to save these well i don't save my spin them every now and then sometimes i get a little stack but they definitely help out and it's super cool the store does that so if you're uh, does your store do something like that if so shoot a comment well anyways guys i what i thought this video was going to be short this i can ramble on forever uh probably doesn't help and i drank a little bit of coffee earlier but i'm already one of those people that has lots of energy so that being said, I hope you got some vinyl today. If not, I hope you're spinning vinyl and uh, all that good stuff. So have a great day. And uh, yes, like this video or subscribe to my channel right now. This is my third episode. I have a whole two followers right now, um, which technically I actually only have one follower because that's just me from my other YouTube channel. So I'm following myself. That's creepy. Anyways. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for checking this video out if you did, and have a great day. Late.